Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the love on the last video. As always, if you do like the videos, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, and you can subscribe to the channel for more videos. So, I've been doing some building, guys. That's why I'm face the beach. It's gotta always be an epic introduction. You know, you can't just, like, you can't just say, hey, I built some stuff, this is what it is. No, you gotta kinda lead off and foreshadow a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I have been placing a lot of stone walls, mostly because I've been collecting all of them, and I finally got enough to where I can actually make my perimeter. And I did have a problem with the fences, as I shared with y'all last time, or the, I guess I could say the fence foundations, because they were faced the wrong way. So I had to redo a bunch of fence foundations, and I finally made the perimeter around the base. So, dun 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 <laughs> there it is. That was a lot less climactic than I had hoped for. But at any rate, it's done. So I'm leaving these spaces open right now because I'm not really sure the capacity in what I'll actually be doing for a way around. I know when people pass on this beach, they're probably going to want to pass on the beach itself. Now, this area is always blocked off by rocks and the ridge does start right there so we really are going to have to have a way for people to pass over but i'm thinking that two behemoth gates will probably be enough i'm, I'm that's what i'm thinking i want to do some dino stalls uh just for the specific types of dinosaurs to keep them organized like i'm gonna have some stalls for the cats i'm gonna have some stalls for the um my utility animals like my like pebbles and uh hilda dana <laughs> sheila and um i want to have I don't know if I'm going to keep Phineas in a pen, and I don't even know if Bert's going to be in the complex itself, but I do want the ability to have them in and out. I'm pretty sure Bert will be in the complex, but one of the things that has been bothering me about my setup is the way that I've been loading. Now, it, granted, it's it works. So this area right here that I have uh, my storage in, like my little storage window, it works to be able to access it. But because I closed this off, it kind of doesn't make sense anymore because I have to turn Bert in a weird way to even put his arm in there. So it's got me thinking a little bit about the design of the entire place. One thing I'm thinking of is making like a walkthrough storage to where on one side it's really, really tall and the storage, it goes around to where I can access it from the dinosaur's back no matter what the height. So maybe a row high and a row low and uh, that would involve a lot more materials. But aside from the stone wall perimeter, uh, most of the, the building itself is going to be wood because that's going to be the easier thing to do. Um, not because it's, well, once I have the dino walls everything else is going to be protected inside right so today what i need to do is get together some behemoth gates now i've got a little bit of resources on me i've been collecting a lot of this stone uh cementing paste um let me see i think i have it right in here for the time being because i didn't know i was i was kind of logging in and logging off to get some stuff done let's see here it should be in the mortar and pestle there we go. So I do have a hundred cementing paste and I borrowed a blueprint for the behemoth gate and a blueprint for the behemoth gate. Wait. So this is what's crazy. This takes 35 cementing paste by itself and 20 polymer, which takes two cementing paste per. So just for one behemoth gate, I'm going to need, let's see, that's 40, that's 75 cementing paste, which <laughs> I thought I've been gathering a while and I only have a hundred so that's really really crazy you guys I mean really really crazy the amount that I'm gonna need but I'm gonna take it all anyway and I'm gonna go and at least make one set of the behemoth gates uh, this right here takes 15 cementing paste and the metal ingots it takes is 60 so altogether I'm gonna need a hundred and ninety five metal ingots um, now I don't know how much I can actually take because a lot of the stuff you need to make um, let's see a lot of the stuff you need to make is the polymer so I'm not gonna grab any of the metal uh, here and bring it back I think I'm just going to make the polymer and for the polymer let's see the recipe right here craftables actually yeah craftables polymer no I'm going to have to make it in the um, in the 
fabricator. <laughs> so let me grab Speedy and I'm going to head to the compound and maybe by then it'll be light. And I'll show you guys the construction of the various components that we're going to need. All right, you guys, this is the contraption we need to make the polymer. It's called a fabricator. I can actually build these, but we do have blueprints for them as well. Um, they do take, I think they take electricity, which this one is hooked up to a generator, which you can see right outside of here. And this takes gasoline. <laughs> so if you look inside here, you could just put the gasoline, which is made from oil, you could just put the gasoline and you can power up the fabricators like that. I'll eventually have one set up my base, but right now all we need is this one really to start. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and we're going to access it. it. makes a lot of noise and we'll put this inside. There's already a little bit of polymer made and we'll go in the composites and make a bunch of this stuff. And then with this, we can actually use it to make the behemoth gate. So the behemoth gate, we're going to need 20 polymer. And that should be enough right there. And for the rest, we'll see where we're at on cementing paste and stuff before we make any more. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So now that we have the 20 polymer, we can head back and make the fittings for the behemoth gates. All right, here we go, guys. So it has to be made of a smithy. We've got all the materials involved, and we can go ahead and craft them. So first we'll need the gateway. So we'll make that. Gave me quite a bit of XP, I think, too. And then we'll need this, which is the gate itself. And we'll need 60 metal ingots, which I have plenty of this stuff. We'll just put 96 in. And there we go. Craft. How much do these things weigh a piece? Only four? That's not bad at all. <laughs> it's weird considering the materials it makes weigh over 200. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we could place these. So we're going to need another one as well. Let's turn down the gamma again. We're going to need another one as well. We're going to need one on either side, but I don't know how they fit. I neglected to put any walls on this side or any foundations. There are some foundations on that side, but I can easily break those. So let's see. Another thing is I don't know how it's going to place. I guess we're going to have to come from the outside. So let's see here. If we put the gateway right here and the gate right here, and we highlight that, it is going to be... It does line up like right here, I think. How, do, how exactly does that work? Man, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be big, but I kind of had no idea. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're going to have to do it there, which means I'm going to have to take out some of those stone walls. Okay. Let's actually do that first. So let's take the demolish stone walls. Could I do it? I'm going to do it on this side first. That way... Because this is the side I access more because it's on the way to the actual compound. And if I do it on this side. Let's see here. Uh, that's going to be... Man, the light rays are killing me. Let me see if I can turn this off. Light shafts. No, <laughs> it's just that time of the day. All right, well... It looks like it places on top of any of it. And the water, it looks like it does go into the water. We'll try it right here. Oh, man, it worked. Okay, that's beautiful, actually. That is awesome. I didn't want it to take too much of the land space. And, um, yeah, and it'll go through. Okay, so the behemoth gateway, or the behemoth gate itself, should go right there. And I'm guessing it'll just place... There it is. Wow. <laughs> that thing is so big. It's um, it's so huge. Like, I'll forget until you walk right up to it. It makes the walls that I put up look kind of tiny. We're actually going to fill in a lot of these walls and double and triple high them. Um, depending on... I don't know, depending on how much materials we, we need. It'll take a little while. It's not going to happen overnight for sure, but we'll be adding to it. As y'all can see on the back, let me use my gateway for the first time. 
Hell yeah! <laughs> I have some fence foundations here I could probably scrap too. But if we go ahead and look at the back here, I've started adding a second level of walls in the back and it looks pretty good. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put um, my other dino gates. I think I'm going to have a dino gate in the back because I want to say Sheila can fit through it. The only thing that I'll need to fit through the behemoth gates are Phineas and, um, and Bert. I believe. I think Sheila can get back and forth through the regular dino gates. So we'll actually have to add some of those. But I'm going to continue working here a little bit, you guys. And um, we'll get some more materials. I think I'll try to get another behemoth gate on that side. And uh, we'll be back. So I've got another 440 stone or so <laughs> for the rest of the wall. And in that back area, you see that corner that's only one high? I think I'm going to use a behemoth gate for that too. Now, that's not going to happen right now. I'm not ready to use that much. I'm not ready to gather that much cementing paste. But that's the plan for it. That's so I can get through the back. I've decided that I'm, I want one uh, on the back as well, on the sides of the house. And possibly on the other side, but definitely right here first. Because that's going to be one of the main areas that I leave out of to go through. This is mainly going to be for access and exit to uh, the compound from the beach or passerbys from the other guys and stuff. So another thing I was contemplating is using walls, wood walls as the top. So instead of too high, I could go three high right here quite easily, I'm thinking. And it is going to provide a pretty cool look. Uh, I saw Ormondage use it a little while back when he was in transition, and I liked it a lot. It's like just a little trim tip, almost like, um, almost like fence, <laughs> you know? So it does a really good look and it's relatively cheap to get aside from the fiber um in comparison to the stone walls wood is just it's so much easier to get and then again thatch is easier than that but i'm not i'm not interested in building thatch anything if i do do any thatch over here where the uh, the water meets the wall where there's a drop off i might do a little enclosure for sharks but i'm not positive oh and it looks like there's a t-rex on the beach Okay, hold on. Hold on. Trouble here. Did they already kill him? No, they didn't. I gotta go get Finn. Come on, Phineas, let's go. No time to get stuck on other animals, buddy. We gotta defend the fort. Oh, man, Bert's trying to get out. Ah, oh, Sheila killed it. <laughs> Finn, you were a little late. Okay. Well, that's a testament to what kind of protection the walls are going to provide. So, let's go ahead and get off of there. Dactyl just flew right back. That's really cool. Let's go see if there was any damage to any of this stuff because that's one thing that I was really, really worried about. Um, how about this? I'm just going to pull everybody over here. Come on, guys. Back away from the wall so I can inspect the damage, please. Oof. Okay, let's go see. So the Rex was right over here. Let me just pass underneath Bert. The Rex was right over here, and it looks like no damage to any of the walls. That's pretty impressive. Let me check him for any goodies. Uh, just a couple of arrows and stuff. The rest of it can... Uh, he had a metal pick on him. I might as well take it. And the rest of it can actually go. I don't need the T-Rex arms or anything. Okay, might as well just skin him now. And I still really want to check the walls and stuff. So it looks like 10,000 on everything. I don't think dinos can... I, I, I thought I heard somewhere that dinos can't destroy stone walls. And I guess that uh, that reigns pretty true over here, which is good. Um, the, so the wall didn't totally protect the dinos because the they weren't too high yet. And the T-Rex was able to kind of attack over the wall. Um, so hopefully we won't have to worry about that again once we get the next layer. Uh, but that just goes to show that the protection is coming along. <laughs> it's, uh, it's better than it was before, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to continue with some of the wood fence and gathering that 440 stone or whatever so I can, um, I can finish up this wall, guys, and I'll be back. Well, you guys, I got it done. Well, at least this side. So there's still that side over there that is, um, <laughs> that my T-Rex is sticking through right now, Stripe. Uh, but it's, it's built up until about, I think, midways through where the cabin is. Let's see here. 
Yeah, it stops around right there. So still quite a bit of wood left to do, but there's double stone walls uh, surrounding the entirety. Now, the only thing that I don't have is anything in the water. I'm going to make the walls extend out here sooner or later. I'm probably going to put a few fence foundations and board, board up the wall right there because where the water comes out, it does come out quite a bit. And I wouldn't want any dinos just to kind of circumvent the system that I have put in place just because the water is too shallow. But I don't think they'll go into the deep. So probably a few more walls there. Although I don't think I'll need uh, stone to do that. I'll probably just do wood walls uh, just because it'll be a little, little easier. Um, at least as it'll be a little bit cheaper. And this side, the same thing. I'll probably come out with some wood walls. Underwater, we'll probably actually use thatch because it won't show at all. Um, and I don't think anything's going to come through a thatch wall. Although, thatch at the bottom might be kind of risky due to the fact that if anything does try to break it, um, it's going to be really, really, really hard uh, to do that. Oh, boy. Is that a T-Rex? That's an albino Rex. What level is that guy? Is he high level? Uh, level 33. No, and he's coming this way. Phineas, let's go get him. Gotta protect the, gotta protect the tribe. Level 33. No problem at all. Let's loot him just in case. <laughs> A white one. It would be nice to get an albino one. What is that? Notes on Rockwell recipe. Yeah, I already have all of this stuff. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, we might as well just, uh, might as well just get finished to eat him. Phineas to finish him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a real word. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed the building. Next time we come back, I'd like to do some stuff around taming. I want to start taming some um, some rare creatures. Probably get another mate for um, for Phineas because Phineas is a little... Uh, Phineas is a little lonely. I really want to mate boost him. And I also would love another color of Spino. So I'm not too sure. It, it's going to have to be kind of high level for me to settle for it. So it might it might take a little while to find one. And uh, off camera, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any building done. Because I'm about to go to the Play on Con convention. And I'm going to be out there for the next five or six days or so so uh the content may be a little sporadic if i don't reply to any reasonable concerns it's just because i can't reach my comment section so well guys that is going to be it for the video today i hope you all really enjoyed it if you did please give me some dap on that like button it really helps me out and subscribe to the channel for more videos thanks so much for watching as always this is uljin signing off and we'll see you next time